Hello everybody, welcome to Marketing Now. We are back after our pilot with a bit of a rebrand because I will be giving you marketing now and not three days late like a certain somebody. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, since it's Sunday, let's look at the bigger picture and what's been going on last week in the world of marketing. It has been one hell of a week for AI as stocks like NVIDIA and Microsoft have gone up, up, and then down, down, down. Eh. But that's how stocks go, baby, uh, perchance. These stocks are on a great trend, obviously, because there's just so much hype around them, uh, both kind of in the media, in the general space, and also between big investment firms. But you know, when I start hearing my dad talk about them, it's it's over for a stock, pretty much. That's that's when I see the bubble pop, or at least kind of taper off. Maybe a bit of realism comes back to the investors and it uh, falls down a bit. But of course, by selling the shovels, Nvidia has been doing great themselves, and Microsoft, being the genuinely giant company that they are, has just been farming enough gold having the right buyer they own their own shovels and they rent them out so they are going to be doing well in this bubble for however long it persists and even after it persists so although there is a bubble there is a good reason that these two are rising to the top of that bubble and might be actually able to stay there after it pops moving on to marketing in vr and ar now this is a pretty scary topic as has been showcased in many movies and books like Ready Player One. I don't think we're going to be seeing that for a very long time, if ever. Especially now with the recent release of the Quest 3 and with the soon to be released Apple Vision Pro, there's obviously been a lot of talk about, okay, these things can track your eyes. They know when you're watching. So this will be the most valuable ad space ever, most likely, because the advertiser can, one, guarantee that the ad they are paying for is being watched by someone, and two, they can also leverage all of the data that these giant companies have. However, of course, I don't think this is the future because the focus right now especially is on getting people to actually use this technology regularly. They want people in headsets, trying it out, putting it into their routine, and ads will push them very far away from that. Big companies like Meta and Apple are just not doing that right now. However, I believe soon third-party companies that are producing free-to-use apps on the Quest Pro and Apple Vision Pro and all of these different VR, AR headsets. I believe third-party applications will start further integrating advertising because in this case, it is extremely valuable advertising space. And if they want to make a free-to-use program, charge $5 a month not to have the ads, otherwise have ads, that's a pretty sound business model. And I could see that if you have enough users on your app, you could start implementing this and start making a lot of money. And I would not be surprised if that starts happening more often sooner. All right, well, that's enough of this because I am fucking exhausted from writing this script and recording it, and now I have to edit it. So as always, subscribe, please. I'm fucking begging you. Um, go check out my Patreon where it's like 29 tiers. I'll add some more soon. I know you guys have been asking. Hey Crane, where's the $27,000 tier? And I've just been sitting here not giving it to you. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so, so, so sorry about that. I'll add that as soon as I can, I promise. Oh man, I, I really apologize for that. Go ahead and check in if there's a $27,000 tier. I'm actually pretty sure I already have that. But this, so stop complaining, little bitch. Oh, fuck.